show you how the practical hello guys welcome this is Harshit Jain today I am going to explain you the concept of dual axis solar tracker using Tinkercad now first of all I will show you how the practical that is the application of this circuit works as you can see this is the practical application of this circuit we have used two servo motors which are required for rotating the base of 360 degrees and rotating the lever which is holding all the LDR that is a light dependent resistors or light sensors that is just shown in 180 degree direction these two servo motors are used for rotating this combination according to the light which is read by these light sensors and the light sensors are placed on all the four corners of this plate and it detects the light and moves in the forward in this direction where the light falls now for the better explanation we should consider this image as it shows the base which is to be rotated in 360 degree direction and as you can see the above one which above motor this one is rotated in 180 degree direction which can be rot rotated itself in the direction where the light goes this is how this circuit works now let us move to the circuitry representation in this i have used an arduino board two micro servo motors two potentiometers each of 10 kilo ohm resistance resistance of 10 kilo ohm four resistances which are connected to four photo resistors light dependent resistors and a small breadboard now i'm going to explain the, the connections First, we have supplied the 5 volt supply to the positive of our breadboard and the ground to the negative of our breadboard. The negative, the negative or the ground of these servo motors are connected to the ground of the Arduino directly. The positive are connected to the positive of these of the breadboard for the power supply, and the signal one is connected with the orange wires to the 10th and nine digital socket pin of arduino board respectively now to take the input from these resistors light dependent resistors or photo resistors we have connected each of them with yellow wires as you can see to the analog input that is ao a1 a2 a3 respectively as you can see they are indirectly connected like the top left one is connected to the pin number this is yellow wire pin number a1 Similarly, the down one is connected to AO, AO, pin number AO, and similarly A2 and A3. Now, to get the signal through the potentiometer, we have connected the vapor that is used for taking the input and supplying it to the board. We have connected it with a purple wire to the pin number A4 and A5, respectively. Now, I will show you how this circuit works. Now, we have to consider that this is a moving project and these two motors are used for gathering to take the sensor to a position so from where it can gather the sunlight or solar rays so now let us see so initially it is in the position now if the intensity of these bulbs are same like you can see if I change it from here they redesign they create themselves in such a manner in such a position so that they are in front of those rays and the the, the, so, the solar rays are gathered easily and similarly for if we stop simulating start simulating it again and use it for a different position then you can see they are lining themselves in that particular way from where they can gather the solar rays so now we have written the code for this project in arduino language now i'm going to explain that code so now first we will declare a header file servo dot which is used for controlling a servo motor now an object servo horizontal from now on we can use horizontal wherever we need to give command for a servo motor for horizontal line it taken servo h equal to 180 servo limit high equal to 175 and servo limit low equal to 5 which means it can go to 65 degrees max now for a vertical line we can we have given servo equal to 45 servo limit high equal to 60 and limit low equal to 1 
Now let us move towards our LDR pin connections as I have shown you that these resistors are connected indirectly to the pins of the analog input board. Now as you can see the down one is connected to pin AO as you can see LDR LD that means LDR down left. Similarly LDR LT means A1 that is the top left one this one which is connected to you can see A1. Similarly A3 and A2 are also connected. Now let us move towards the setting of the circuit. Now we will attach our servo motor which is used for creating horizontal position to the socket number 9 as you can see this one with orange wire. Similarly the vertical one servo motor is connected to socket number 10 as it is been so vertical dot attach 10. Now initially we will write horizontal dot write 180 which is the max value of the horizontal servo meter. Now vertical write 45 which is the max value as we have shown servo v equal to 45 and servo is equal to 180 the initial values we are giving here now there we have introduced a delay of 2500 milliseconds which is 2.5 seconds now in the loop now the signal which is gathered from these resistances these photo dependent resistors from analog read LDR LT that is LDR LT represents AO A1 A2 A3 respectively the value gets stored in LT RT LD and RD now we have introduced the delay time equal to 10 and tolerance level equal to 90 which is tall equal to tolerance level now we have taken the average value of the top LDRs that is LT plus RT slash Two. Now average of down is LD RD upon 2. Now the average of left side is LT plus LD divided by 2 and average of right is RT plus RD divided by 2. Now to check the difference of up and down we will introduce a variable D V E R T equal to AVT minus AVD to check the difference in the values of up and down. Similarly to check the values the difference in left and right we will use d horis that is dho is equal to avl minus avr now if minus 1 into tall that is the value of tolerance initially the value of tolerance is 90 a minus 90 is greater than dvert or dvert is greater than tall that is 90 then a semi loop opens if AVT is greater than AVD then servo V equal to in, it will change the value of servo V self increment it in order to get back in the position to in order to balance itself if now servo V is greater than servo limit high then servo V is equal to servo limit high now it brings back to its the highest position if, if it goes in the opposite way that is AVT is less than AVD then servo V V will decrease its angle to get back in the original position now if servo V is less than its limiting value then servo V will equal to the limit low so that it doesn't exceed its limiting value now vertical dot right dot servo V the so value of servo V is now written that means the value is now represented through the motor and we will see the dial revolving now again if we will move towards our horizontal now we have discussed about the vertical motor now we will discuss about the horizontal motor if minus 1 into tall that is 9 minus 90 is greater than d horis or d horis is greater than 90 it is taking the difference in tolerance else change the horizontal angle this is meaning now if AVR is greater than AVR the horizontal servo motor now decrements itself so that it get back to its balancing position again it checks that it is not going below its limiting so now it if it's going towards less than its the limiting value of the servo horizontal motor then servo horizontal motor will be set to the limiting value now in the opposite way if AVL is less than AVR 
servo motor horizontal width increments its angle and if the angle incremented is greater than its limiting high value then servo high sets the value which is equal to the highest value and else and closes the loop if the avl is equal to avr then there is no change in its position and there will be a delay of 5 seconds now or we will write the position of the motor that is servo s which will be displayed on the dial of these motors now we will have a delay time d time which we have declared as above as as you can see the time as the difference time difference time now it changes back to its original position hence this loop works again and again and this is how our circuit works now it was a complex program if you have any difficulties in understanding this program you can refer to the link given in the description below for all the files all the source code related to this program thank you